Celebrity Cruises just announced some big changes to their summer cruises, and it's so exciting, I had to talk about it up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, and with the first summer cruises just around the corner, less than a month away, many of us, including myself, want to know, what is it going to be like on a cruise ship this summer when we get to sail? Of course, Royal Caribbean's Adventure of the Seas and Vision of the Seas will be restarting cruises in June, but there'll be another ship starting just before those, and that's on Celebrity Cruises, which, of course, Celebrity being the sister line to Royal Caribbean. They're both owned by the same company, and they've announced their policies, and you know what? It's got me super excited and intrigued, and I wanted to talk about it today because, of course, what Celebrity does might, emphasis on might, be what we can expect on Royal Caribbean as well. Now, many of us who have cruises booked for this summer or are thinking about booking a cruise for this summer are wondering what is it going to be like on board the ship in terms of masks, excursions, vaccine rules, testing, all those things, right? What is it going to feel like on a Royal Caribbean cruise this summer? And Royal Caribbean still has not yet announced what that will be, but Celebrity Cruises had a webinar this week with travel agents, and they talked about some of the experiences and things and rule changes for their guests on board. And again, since Celebrity and Royal Caribbean are sister companies, to me, I would be more surprised than not if Royal Caribbean did not basically match up copy what Celebrity is doing because after all, they're the same company. I just can't imagine that they would have distinctly different policies or so much different than what we're seeing on Celebrity, but it's at least something to look at, something to think about. So all of these changes, by the way, were announced to travel agents during a webinar. Throughout the cruise industry shutdown, uh, a lot of the cruise lines have been having webinars with travel agents to keep them abreast of what's happening in the world of cruising. And during Celebrity's webinar on this past week, there was a number of basically glimpses, kind of some big nuggets of information that came out of what Celebrity will announce later on. And it looks like Royal Caribbean may simply be waiting for that later on to announce theirs altogether. But let's start with the big stuff, and that is vaccine requirements. Number one, Celebrity has lowered the age for the vaccine requirement for its summer sailings. Originally, cruisers had to be at least 18 years old to go on a Celebrity Cruise and be fully vaccinated this summer, but that's been lowered to 16. Of course, Pfizer reduced their age restriction to 12 years old, but uh, 16 is now the minimum age to be fully vaccinated, and that's what Celebrity is going to require uh, if you're going to want to go on one of their cruises. Speaking of vaccines, how will you prove you have the vaccine or not? Well, It'll be required in the form of the original vaccination card. No photocopies or photos will be accepted. Now, remember, these cruises go outside the United States. They are not sailing from the U.S. So if you're wondering about how that applies to the Florida's ban and a variety of other things, we don't know yet. But these cruises are independent of that because they're sailing outside the U.S. Another big change is shore excursions, because instead of being limited to celebrities excursions, now passengers that are fully vaccinated will be able to explore ports on their own or even book their own shore excursions. The policy will be dependent on the port, of course, depending on what's going on there in terms of cases. But celebrity will allow guests now to book and do their own things on shore if they're fully vaccinated. Now, celebrity said that they will advise guests once on board the ship if the upcoming port stop will allow guests to go on their own and or you have to wear a mask again. That's the government restrictions there in the country. But the good news is celebrities opening that up. This is something, by the way, that the Norwegian Cruise Line had changed a little while ago as well. So good signs all around. Speaking of masks, I know you all want to know about masks. And Celebrity confirmed that if you're fully vaccinated, you're not going to have to wear a mask on the ship, both indoors or outdoors. On board the Celebrity ships, fully vaccinated passengers are not required to wear masks inside or outside while maintaining a safe distance from other passengers. Guests who are 15 years old or below will still have to wear masks in certain situations like walking from a stateroom to a restaurant. But Celebrity did confirm that you do not need to wear a mask while seated for a meal or a show. The example given was if you're unvaccinated, you would need to walk from like your room to the restaurant. You'd be wearing your mask there. But once you sit down at the restaurant or at your show, you would then be able to, to remove the mask. Some other big changes that Celebrity announced was that back-to-back -back cruises will indeed be allowed. There were a lot of rumors and speculation out there that they might not be allowed, but uh, that is not going to be the case at all. Celebrity will allow guests to book more than one cruise in a row. If you are booked on a back-to-back -back cruise, you'll have to take another antigen test before the second leg, while unvaccinated cruisers will have to take a second PCR test. And on that note, by the way, 
Celebrity will provide a COVID-19 test for all passengers at the end of their cruise so that for Americans who need to fly back home, you can have a test result in order to return to the U.S. You don't have to be scrambling in the airport or the city your cruise ends to try to get a test in time. And finally, test requirements for the two celebrity ships sailing this summer, the Apex and the Millennium, have also been changed. First of all, fully vaccinated passengers who are going to Greece for Celebrity Apex don't need to take a COVID-19 test to enter the country, but will need to take an antigen test before boarding. If you're going to say Martin on Celebrity Millennium, they'll have to take a PCR COVID-19 test within 72 hours of arrival on the island, but do not need to take a second antigen test to board the ship. Alternatively, you could take a PCR test five days before arriving to St. Martin, but we need to take a second antigen test to board the ship. Unvaccinated passengers will need to take an antigen test before boarding in addition to that first test to get into St. Martin. Now, there's strong hints that Celebrity and Royal Caribbean are going to announce their full protocols next week, but this is at least a preview and very intriguing. I think, generally speaking, most people have found these rules to be a very good change and maybe a precursor to what we can expect in Royal Caribbean, but we'll have to wait and see. I don't know about that. I want to know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think of these changes? Do you like them? Would you now book a cruise because of these changes? Would you like to see more changes? Let me know your thoughts. Keep it civil in the comments below. Also, make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on your notifications so that way YouTube lets you know when I have a brand new video to share. Who knows? It might even be about Royal Caribbean's own new protocol changes. This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, and we'll talk again real soon.